Hey guys, welcome to the Brothers of Destruction show. I am Razor Einstein. This is my brother, the Berserker. What's up, guys? As you notice, we're doing a review for Pokemon X and Y. If any of our friends are watching, they're thinking, Wait, these people like Pokemon X and Y? You guys are like teenagers. Well, I don't give two flying fish. Exactly. What, uh, though we are, we've been fans since we were kids, and... Well, we just really want to review them. I know it's a little late because it's been a couple years, but we're going to do it anyway. So, Pokemon X and Y, it, I love it. It's a really fun game. I love the graphics system, the combat, the every, just everything about it. Um, but So, I want to talk about it. So, it's always, the game starts off, well, you know, you're brand new to this. You, you're the, a neighbor for many people, and you get a Pokemon from you, a professor. Well, this one's got a little twist on it. What's cool about this game, it's actually different you actually able to choose your race, your sex, which as always, but but in this game you get to choose what you look like, like your it's it's different. And I really liked it, and whatever you choose, like if you're a male, your rival is a female, the opposite, the opposite character choice, which was bottom line. I thought it was really cool. What do you think? It was good, and also like later on throughout the story, you get like all these. Chances to like customize your character, give them clothes later, and then you get this. Um, I think it was called like. What was it called? Like these. Oh God. Uh, hats, glasses, uh, stuff. I don't know. Hats, glasses, stuff like that, and also these um. Contacts, so you get to change your eye color and stuff. Which was really cool. It was something that was brand new, and I thought, wow, this is actually pretty cool. So let me talk to you about like it's always it's a Pokemon game. You're new to the town, you go get a first Pokemon, and you go out and beat the, the the eight gym leaders and the Elite Four and become Pokemon champion. We heard the story many times before. But it's different. Like, you um, you rival... I think, let me try this. Uh, your Pokemon professor is actually not in the town nearby. He's actually in the biggest city of the, of the town. Of What was it even called? I keep forgetting. Cal yes. Kalos. Kalos region. And Lumio it's... Lumio City, though. Yeah. And, well... As let, let me talk about the graphics. The graphics bottom line is impressive. It, it's basically a year after Bo Pokemon Black and White Two came out, or a few years, a few years, Who and knows? and the graphics was a huge step up. It was more impressive. It was impressive, and I and I thought it was really cool, and and makes the Pokemon look a little bit more realistic instead of that little standing position they do. Or in Black and White Two, they have the like the arm movement stuff like that, yeah. which resets. But this one, it was different. Just everything was just new and improved. The just it was like just beautiful. It was like Game Freak said, "Okay, we're doing a new slant, we're doing a new clean slate. We're making something different," and they did, and it was cool. And it was I thought it was really cool. And the combat system, the combat system is a huge imp improvement. You actually get to see your Pokemon. Let's say you fight, you a fight. You see them throw their arm forward, just open their mouths to have the water gun come out. And that was so cool. I thought that was a huge improvement. And I'm thinking, this actually makes me more realistic. But though for some attacks, it seems like it's missing something. Like some attacks, like um, needle arm. Um, some attacks, like a uh, pin missile that just jump up in the air and like pins come out. Like, ah, oh, god dang it, guys. Well, not like mean? those, like in the anime, like they had the little like energy of like the energy pins just flying out of their arm and hitting the pokemon. So I thought some moves actually would need it a little bit more. I have not seen the three un uh, powerful moves for the starters cuz I all my moves for all my character my starters are basically how I want it to be, but I don't want to get rid of any, but I don't want to lose any at the same time. Uh let's see uh graphic uh, let's see, not graphics. 3D effects. 3D effects is something brand new in the game and it is really cool. Like, when you go, like, face a boss or a legendary Pokemon, the graphics are incredible. Yeah. The 3D graphics are incredible. But, though, for some areas, I felt like they could have done, had, actually had the 3D effects. So, I lot, know a lot of people don't like having 3D on their games. So, let's see. Uh, um, also, let's just talk about, like, that the sequence of resurrecting the legendary. Just have the cocoon and the giant machine, and then all of a sudden have the... Energy just kind of swarming through it, and then just explode all the pipes going everywhere, and then you're kind of setting there, like shocked and like, holy cow, what did I get myself into? 
Exactly. And the Team Flair leader, what is up with his hair? Seriously, it's, it's spiking up in the air. Like, Why do they all have orange shoots, though? Like, it's like blinding to the eyes. Yeah, why do why do all the main villains have weird hair? I don't I get know. that. Um, and then they always fail, too, like right at the end. Exactly. Like, none of them are good. And the, the team, the, this um, Team Flair's le- um, leader actually was a big surprise to many, a lot, a lot of people. Like, they looked at them and like, Oh, this guy's probably a normal guy. And then all of a sudden, wait, he's evil. Wait a second. Yeah, and um, let's see. Uh, team, what's it? What's something else. Uh, oh yeah, uh, the starter Pokemon. Normally, a lot of people go for immediately for fire because, like me, like me, I I go for fire, fire type I instantly love fire. because few reasons. One, they're the most powerful. Two, they look the coolest. And three, they have the most advantages of the most gym leaders. But I did a little research ahead of time like, to find out, and I looked at the, the three stars like. I actually think the water type's the most coolest, because I like his final evolution. He's a frog. Yeah. He's a frog ninja. And that's really cool, and he, now he also had a lot of advantage against the gym leaders. So I went with him first, and I looked at the Fen- Fennekin? Fennekin? Fennekin, yeah. Fennekin, and... Ava Del Fennekin. Fox was a little fox with the flaming yeah. stick. Yeah, and I didn't like the detail on him that, mu- uh, him that much, because he kind of looked like a girl. I have nothing offensive against <laughs> girls, by the way. Nothing. Nope. But... Nope. It just thought like they could have made him made him a little more cool, uh, interesting, because he kind of looks a little lame. Uh, no offense to any people who actually chose him. No, nope, don't don't sue me, please. I chose him though, but you know. I got him after I beat the game. Because what's actually cool in this game, after you beat the lead four, you actually have the ability, like your rival will actually run up to you at your house and say, "Hey, here Take you go." Take this egg. Yeah, and it was based off the starter. Uh, that's again that. That's weak against your starter, and I thought that's actually really cool. But Which I got chest pin, so and I, th- I was hoping that I can get all three of them, but I couldn't. So you I could get bad. them off Wonder Trade like I did, but True. you know. But for me, I don't know how to do the <laughs> and also trading the, system um, and the battle system because I'm still getting used to the system. And also, the um, amazing thing is that they have the um, player search system. The player search system, like I still, like I said, I'm not used to it. I still got to know how to do it, because I don't know that many people who have 3DSs. Um, what I want to talk about is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is basically the same thing we heard almost heard since day one, the first game, and Game Freak, if you're watching this, try having a little something new. Just add a little bit more oomph into it, right? Yeah. Um, what's really cool about the, gra- I want to go back to the graphics for a quick second, what's really cool about it is if it's at night. The night, and you go to this little pond, you can actually see the stars from the sky on the ground, and I thought that was, that was so cool, like, granted, I kind of get, um, hap, like, in, you know, that was what I'm looking for, and, Insp- um, inspiration, and, and, like, wit- and, like, absorbed, I guess. Yeah, I get that really easily, but though, after watching a bunch of Angry Joe videos, I learned to broaden my vision, and I just looked at, looked at the little details. Yeah. Um, but there's also, in this game, there's... I like in the beginning, you automatically have the running shoes. Yeah. Not just nice. walking, walking forever. But you automatically know, can run. And I, I know, mean, like, that kind of ticked me off in, like, a little bit in, like, the, um, older games where you had to kind of go back and, like, get the running shoes, like, after either after you beat the first gym leader or else just, like, or, uh, some, later on in the... Or in some games, there's, like, it's just kind of next town. Like, it's in the next town over. I know. And you get the wrenches. And like I in black like and it. white, just going through the forest at the entrance to the forest, just yeah. get them from your mom. Yeah, and I liked, and I thought that was really cool. Like, oh, I oh, come back and run. When this game also offers is roller skates, and now for me, I love oh, the roller boy. skates. It's like a faster way to do anything. You, you perform cool tricks on them. I only have one dis one disappointment about it. I wish, granted. I wish I could take them off some t- time to time, like, because I just want to, like, okay, I want to run now, but I can only run in buildings, except for that one gym leader, where you actually get to do roller skates. I know, that was, that was fun. Yeah, but, um, grant, uh, but in the bike, and there's also the bike in the game, but I, n- I never used the bike. I Honestly, just see, like, I don't know why they had the bike in there if you yeah. have the roller skates. Yeah, why have a bike in there if you got roller skates? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, by the way, this game offers something brand new, never heard in Pokemon games. Mega Evolution. And it oh, is that, awesome. That is that is probably one of their best moves. I just... Mm-hmm. I love the Mega Evolutions. So good. I love the Mega Evolutions that you were given. 
Every single one of them looks so cool. I especially love Charizard's X. X oh, but that's... He looks uh, like a boss. He's just one of the bosses. Just one of the boss most looking dragons I've ever seen. But what I don't get, why does Charizard get two? Why all the others, all the other Kanto region ones get one? It's Charizard. You, d- you don't even yeah, need to explain that. Charizard is one that is in all Super Smash Brothers Brothers games, and he's, he's actually kind good. of an icon. Like Pikachu. Speaking of Pikachu, okay. how come I, in the game, like all the Pokemon have still have the noises except Pikachu when he gets the he heat. says his name. Why does only Pikachu get to say his name? Why can't everyone else? Did Game Freak actually say I can't do this anymore? Let's just give Pikachu because he's the best one. It's like screw this, we're just lazy. Yeah, it, now that there's also a new type of Pokemon in the game, Fairy type. Oh and boy. why, Game Freak, why did you make <laughs> them the most powerful? Only have two weaknesses, poison and steel. I know. Why? Mm. And dragon, dragon, why do you hate dragon so much? A lot it was of like pe- so it, dominant for so long, and now it's just like, get yeah, wrecked, you, you scrub. Yeah, and only dragon has one advantage, it's against himself. Why? Pretty much. Why? I want the dragon to have more advantages against other Pokemon. Except just himself, and he's got so many weaknesses. Like it's made one of the most powerful dragon types, Rayquaza. Look like, like a look like a baby. I know, like it's weak to fairy, ice. What else? Uh, dragon. Yeah, and and some rock. Thing, if if it's flying, it's rock. It's it's part flying. True, but all right. But all the mega evolutions look cool, look amazing. The first mega evolutions you get is from Lucario. Yeah, it's, when you it's pretty op. Yeah, and it's really cool. Um. I forgot to mention this. Uh, it, when you get to Luminous, I always keep getting Lumios. Lumio City. You at, when you face the your the professor, you actually get one of the Cancel Region starters. Yeah. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. Yeah. You can know a lot of people just go Charmander because yeah. Charizard, Charmander. but making poor Squirtle and Bulbasaur feel lonely. Mm-hmm. And this game actually introduces two new legendary of. Uh, Three legendary, new legendaries. They have Eveltal, Xerneas, and Zygarde. Yeah, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And I love... Keep again the... Why? Why? What's Y's guy? Which one? Uh, why? Eveltal? Eveltal. I like him so much. I love the detail they put into him. He looks awesome. And... It's just, I love all three of them. They all look incredible. They're Aurora Bray of... Zonagarde? Zonagarde? Zygarde. Zygarde's Aurora Break and the other ones like Dark Aurora and Fairy Aurora. They all look amazing. But here's what I want to ask. Every single legendary, every single type in Pokemon has a legendary, all except one, and that's Poison. I know. Except like, but people will say, oh, but Arceus can well, have, it's turns into Poison. They don't... Poison, yeah. Why not give Poison an actual legendary? I know. He, if you, he, like, he, he's been, they've been there since day one. And everyone else got a legendary. And the fairy, the second they came on, they got a legendary. And it... Why? I know, they just got introduced and all of a sudden, here's a deer legendary. And here is a fairy type gym leader. I know. Have it's fun. Like, but... So, it, I felt... I felt I feel bad for poison types. I do too. Yeah. Oh, now that this game also requir- has the shortest amount of legendaries. Mute, um... And all of them are from Kanto, or... The Kalos region. I don't know why that is, but um, Mewtwo's in there, and he's got two Mega Evolutions depending on which game you have. And Mew- this Y one kind of looks ridiculous a little bit. Poke- when he's in Pokemon Y, he looks like he's Mew. Pretty much. Yeah, I think Just that's the, I think that's what the game developers wanted him to have. And uh, that also there's Moltres, Articudo, and Zapdos, and you get them depending on which starter you have. Like if you have Froakie, Froakie. Froakie. Froakie, you get uh, Moltres. If you get Chess- Chespin? Chespin? Chespin, you get uh, Zapdos. And if you get Fennekin, you get Articudo. What, um, though, for Fennec- uh, for uh, Chespin, you actually... What, don't get, like... Alright, his he's kind of a bad starter, because he's grass and fighting, and... Yeah. Yeah, if you face against a flying, he's dead. Like Pretty much. Because he... One hit KO. Yeah. Why... Uh, well, I noticed a lot, because since Hol- the Holen region, there has been... Um, there has been legendary... Uh, all the fire... T- since Holen, there's been fire type and it's firefighting. 
And I was hoping that would continue on what they did in Diamond, in, in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. All three let all three starters actually could face beat the other version because Torterra Grass slash Ground, uh, Empoleon Water slash Steel, and Infernape Fire slash Fighting. So yeah. all of them could face against the others, but though Torterra was over in power because he can beat all of them by just using nothing but Earthquake. Pretty much. Yeah, and um, let's see what else. What else uh, let's do the cons now, maybe. Uh, we've been doing pros and cons on both sides. Oh yeah. Um, but let's see. Uh, fl um, the HMs are back, and they got and for the past couple games they got rid of Rock Smash, and they've just replaced it as like a TM instead. Yeah, of an HM. and a lot of people have been complaining. Yeah, there's a lot of not that many HMs because a lot of people are saying, "Yay, less HMs," and it's just it's why? just why 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 do we need the HMs? Like honestly, they're like Pokemon. This is their natural environment. Like they should just become. A quit like just programmed to be able to surf and all that naturally. Yeah. Like we don't need like them to hold like man-made devices. Like why do they need these little like CD or box things to like learn how to do what they do naturally? Cause they're, cause most of them are based off like real creatures and you don't see creatures having to, f having to need like all these man-made items just to learn how to like fly or surf or climb waterfalls or something. Yeah, and also. uh I lost my train of thought. Uh, hang on. Right. A lot of Pokemon, like Magikarp, still sucks. <laughs> Pretty like, much. Except when it gets to Gyarados, then... And it's kind of a tick. Yeah, because, all, because Magikarp d can't learn any HMs, and none of that is just until, like, oh, I got the magic he only learns farm like, him up. He only learns, like, Flail and... No, uh, like, uh, Flail, Splash, tackle and Tackle. And that's it. Pretty much. Yeah, and it's just like Feebas uh, too. It he's he's the Wobbuffet of Water type. Because Wobbuffet only knows four moves. I know, and you can't and even can't change, change anything. anything. And it's all counter attacks. I know. Which I don't mind. I'm all for counter attacks, but like safeguard, like Destiny, mirror Destiny codes. Bond, counter, so that. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see um, what else? Hmm. Hmm. Um, the flying flying is impressed and proved. You can actually see. The shadow of the bird would actually would think would be better if you can actually jump on the Pokemon you're riding and actually see how he look he or she looks when you ride him up. Along that with um, the TMs and HMs, you can the TMs actually are now more usable. Like in back in Diamond, yeah. Pearl, and Platinum, and Soul Silver and Heart Gold, they were a one use and then done. But yeah, then yeah. when Black and White came on, they decided to fix that and have them. Added more, like, continued on. I thought it was really cool, and that that was a that, that was, that's a genius idea. Why not do that more? Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, uh, the um champ, the elite four champion. Um, him, I see her. I ex in past Pokemon games, the uh champion was seen more in the game. Yeah, she's just kind of like a she, one and yeah, done most. Yeah, like doesn't. You just meet her once, like, okay, okay, that's it. And then all of a sudden, yeah, by the way, I'm the champion of the Elite Four at the end I of the game. Like, it's like, what? what? Why not Why not come out more? Why can't more... you help me like Lance did in, like, Gold, yeah. Silver, and Crystal? Yeah, all, all the other games, they uh, the Elite Four champions came on and helped you in a battle in some way. Yeah. Um, keep it down. And um, stuff like that. What, and now that, um, actually, um, what's cool in the Elite, in this game, like, since Black and White, there, uh, you can actually face the Elite Four in a random order you want. You can just face them in, in any order, like, and so it's not that one, two, three, four, boom, they go to Elite Four. It's not like that. It's completely different, and I like how they did that. So, um, and, uh, I think that's about it. That's, uh, I think that's everything. So, bottom line, um, this I game think. is incredible. I like it a lot, and it's a great start for the 3DS, and it's it's really good. So, for this game, we're giving it an 8 out of 10. Actually, we're, actually, we're giving it a 9 out of 10. It's a great game. A few, a few flaws, few, but few then flaws, again. But it holds its weight on the graphics, the combat system and the storyline. It holds its weight up there, besides all the other flaws.
But so bottom line, it's a great game. I hard I had a hard time trying to find little mis mistakes. So it gets a thumbs up. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do review in a little bit is the Pokemon Omega, Alpha, Omega, Ruby, Omega Ruby and Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Sapphire. That's weird how we were in sync. I know. So we'll see you guys uh, very soon. By the way, this this video, if you guys haven't noticed, it's a for kids. What we're gonna do we have a kids channel, so so they don't stumble upon our other stuff and like get in trouble. For, get us I know. In trouble. Like we don't want them to like get in trouble for like swearing or vulgar language or yeah. anything like that. So. If you got, if even if you're an adult and you want to see, like, hey, I want to see how this game is for my kid, come check our channel, watch the video, and yeah, and it's appropriate for all ages. Yeah. So, guys, we'll see you very soon.